Hi guys, I got an interesting support request a couple of days ago about creating a pass-through platform that you can only enter if you press up and I thought I'd use the new additional conditions to set that up. So let's take a look at the scene at the moment. Basically we have a couple of pass-throughs So what we want to add is the ability that if I walk across there, firstly I don't jump like that, and secondly I don't go up the platform unless I'm holding the up button. So that's not too hard to achieve with code, uh, it's quite similar to the stairs movement. But now with additional conditions we can actually do this just by setting up different conditions. So the first thing we're going to do is stop the character mounting the platform as they walk past it. And what we're going to do here first, we're going to add a platform. So now it's no longer a collider, it's a little bit smarter, it's a platform. And why we want to do that is the platform will accept additional conditions. So this platform by default now will only collide with something if the conditions are met. So the first condition we'll add is a height condition. Basically we want to say only apply the colliders on this entry point game object which is this first square if the character's relative height is a little bit higher than the middle of the platform. So effectively that'll mean if we jump and land on the platform we will stand on it but if we walk past at this base height we won't. Let's, let's see that in action. You see I no longer mount the platform, but if I jump, because I'm a little higher, I do. Second thing we want to do is add the ability to mount the platform by pressing up. So we're going to need a couple of conditions here. So the first thing we do Let's create an empty child and move the height collider condition to that object. We're going to add an OR condition here. So the OR condition combine and will basically return true if one or more of the colliders uh, of the conditions return true. So the first condition is the height condition, but we want to add a second condition now, which is the input direction condition. So what we want to say here is if the vertical input is 1, i.e. the user is pressing up, then this will evaluate to true. So now we've got an OR condition, so we'll be able to mount this platform if either the height is higher than 0.1 or the user is pressing up. Let's hit play. Now I'll hold the up button. So we're basically there, but there's still one issue. If I go here and press up, You'll see I jump up to the top of the platform. That's because I'm colliding with this platform at the moment, and as soon as I press up, this condition is true. So how do we fix that? Well, let's add an AND condition. And we'll move this AND condition as the child here. And what the AND is going to do is we're going to say the input direction condition is only true if that's true and the character is in a certain spot. Basically we're going to say if the character is standing on the corner here then we want to uh, consider the up button but anywhere else we don't want to consider the up button.
Okay, so let's go back to our entry conditions. We're going to create another empty child. We're going to put a collider condition. So a collider condition returns true if the character's anywhere inside a collider. It's kind of like a, a unity trigger, uh, but it's for a condition as opposed to having enter and exit events. There's no settings on this, we just need to add a collider. And box collider will do for this. You can use any 2D collider. And we'll change the layer mask to ignore raycast. Now that box collider is much too forgiving. What we want to do is move it something like this and make it quite thin. So basically, the character needs to be in this fairly small box. We might need to tweak this slightly at runtime. So we go back to our AND condition. It's got two parts. The input has to be up. No, no, just lock the inspector here. And the character also has to be in the collider. So let's hit play and see what happens. So if I go across here and hit up, I don't know if you can hear me hitting the key there, but I'm pressing up and nothing happens. But if I get in the right spot, I'm able to walk up. So I've got the values pretty close. Can't really see any issue there. But you might have to move this around a little bit. Remember, this is based on the center of the character. So if you click on the character, it's based on their transform. So that looks pretty good. So there's one remaining issue. If I walk back over this side whilst holding up, there's a little bobble. You can fix that one pretty easy. Let's go back to our input direction. And let's say the character must also be holding right. So if they're not walking and pressing up, then this won't trigger. So it still works when I it works when I walk up it. But when I walk this way, sorry, I'll make sure I press up. There's no bubble any longer. And there we have it. A pass-through platform with up key to enter. Done with zero code.